Ryan Tuberty Show on RTE Radio 1, sponsored by Sky Fiber. Super fast broadband, perfect for busy homes to be online at the same time. Now, the emails I often say to you, Ryan at RTE.ie, to write to us during the day or into the night, and such one such email did land uh, to us yesterday evening saying, Dear Ryan, my name is Bennett and I'm 14 years old. Uh, the rest of the email is, is uh, it goes on very, very to tell us some information about him. But we like the sound of Bennett, 14 years old, so we gave him a call and he joins us now. Good morning, Bennett Broderick. Good morning, Ryan. How are you? How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Will you share with our listeners why you wrote to us, please? Yeah, well, tomorrow here in Ireland is Cystic Fibrosis National Awareness Day. So all over Ireland, they're in shopping centres, they'll be selling purple roses for two euros. So I want you to come on and spread awareness about Sp- that. Spread the good word. Uh, remind us why, if you would, Bennett, why it's called 65 Roses Day. Well, here in Ireland, children are first, that's how they first learn to say cystic fibrosis. So they say 65 roses. And that's why it's a, it's a rose, is the emblem, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, well, I'm from Black Rock. I have cystic fibrosis. Um, I enjoy playing tennis. Um, and my main thing I really enjoy is spreading awareness of CF. That's okay. my main thing. And as a, as a young man and f- further b- before that as a young boy, what uh, are the effects of cystic fibrosis on a child? Well, like, they affect your breathing. So, like, you have to do a lot of exercise. They, um, they affect your pancreas, so when you eat food, you have to take tablets to help digest um, your food, and it affects a lot of different parts of the body. Were you unable to do things your friends could, uh, were able to do when you were younger? Not really. I was Good. always like, able to keep up, maybe like in PE, you know, getting out of breath, but like, I was still I'm able, I was able to keep up. Right, so you you weren't uh, pre- pre- you know uh, prevented from enjoying the uh, a, a proper childhood. No. Okay. No, I wasn't. And give us an example, if you could, Brennan, of your typical day. What sort of things do you have to do to mind yourself? Well, morning times, I usually I have to get up. I have to do nebulizers. That typically takes about an hour. I have to take medication tablets, about twenty tablets. I have to take uh, more nebulizers, inhalers. I'm also a cystic fibrosis related diabetic, so I have to take insulin and um, I have to, if someone's sick, you know, I have to kind of not go near them. I have to be aware of who's well and who's not, so it's, it's quite busy, you know. It takes up a lot of time. Is it, is it a pain in the neck? It can be at times, but I try to have a positive outlook on it. I know I'm doing it to stay healthy, so yeah. that, that, that motivates me. You know? Yeah, you remind me of, of uh, Julian Benson, who I was talking to. You know the judge from Dancing with oh, the Stars? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was on the yeah. Late Late Show telling us about uh, his, his um, cystic fibrosis and his, relation- yeah. his relationship, if you like, with, 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 the, with it. And he was saying, look, that's, it's just what, it's part of what I do and what I am. I, I, there's no point in dwelling on it. That's what we no, have. Yeah. You just have to keep rolling, isn't that it? Yeah, just keep going and don't let it stop you from what you have to do. Uh, it's hereditary, is that right? Yeah, so it's inherited disease, which means both of your parents need to have the gene and there's a one in four chance of your child having it. That's unfortunately, I had it. And your mum is uh, on the line there as well. Let's say hello to you. Caroline, thanks for joining us today. Morning, Ryan. How are you? How are you getting on? I'm good, thank you, thank you. Uh, um, when, when you were told uh, as a new mum, if you like, or at least with, when, when, when Bennett arrived uh, into your world that he had cystic fibrosis, how, how was that for you? That, mm-hmm. that, 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 uh, yeah, well, it was a shock. Yeah. It was a big shock because Bennett was diagnosed when he was 19 months old, which right. is quite late, really, because now they have the newborn screening. But um, ironically, I used to work as a CF nurse, so Did you? I, I had a good background on, on what to do. And, but still, when it's your own child, it's, you know, it's completely different. When, you, when you're a parent, it's, it's so different. So we just do our best, mm. and as Bennett said, it's part of his life, and we just get on with it every day. When, when, when I was a, you know, a young man with, with a young baby or whatever or two, you, you, you find that it's hect- the world is hectic and, and you're running around getting used to it and doing what you have to do. What about you um, when, when your child is, has CF? Do, how does that yeah. change you, in motherhood or parenthood? Um, yeah, it does change it. Um, your priorities, you know, I suppose Ben has got, I've got a, an eight-year-old son as well, mm-hmm. so 
Um, you know, it's when Bennett's sick and goes into hospital, that can be quite difficult. But I have good family support, so that that's very, very helpful as well. But it it definitely does. You're, I suppose, you're, you're always on guard for what could happen, and in the back of your mind, you're always thinking if someone's sick, like Bennett said, you you know, you don't want Bennett to go near them, but. It does change your outlook, really. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you saw Julian Benson. I just mentioned him there to Bennett. On yes, the, the, I did, yeah. I, I thought he gave a very positive take of this story. What did you think, make of him? I thought he was brilliant. Yeah. I, re- I was shocked, actually. I didn't realise that he had cystic fibrosis, but it was lovely to hear him talk so posit- positively about it. You know, and Bennett was watching it as well. So, it, it was, you know, I really admired him, and I thought to sit there and you know, divulge all your personal information is yeah. a very big thing to do, and he's great. He really is brilliant. Great, uh, great energy, uh, great, uh, great humour about him, and, yeah, um, yeah. and just a positive force in in a world that could be less positive. Yes, that's true, and it's it's important. I think I think with anybody who has a medical condition. I think once you're positive, you know, it really does it help helps. you. It and, helps. and to be surrounded by positive people, I think in life whether you're yeah. ill or not ill doesn't matter uh, it's just um, it's the way forward isn't it yes absolutely yeah. why did you call Bennett Broderick Bennett um, <laughs> it's spelled B-E-N-A-T is that right I know I no, know I, I'm, I'm intrigued yeah well um, Bennett's father is from the former Yugoslavia yeah. Kosovo so I suppose when he was born we were trying to choose a name and he wanted a Kosovo name I didn't want a Kosovo name I wanted kind of an Irish or English kind of name. So we kind of just came up with Bennett. <laughs> okay. So you kind of felt like a Petri dish. And, uh, you kind of, yeah. The name yeah. just <laughs> just arose. How did you meet your husband? Um, when I was a student in London, I met him, yeah. And he was over from Kosovo? Yeah. Which was, was probably going through the horrors at the time, was it? Probably, yeah. I think so, yeah. I'm sure you have a fairly good idea if you, <laughs> if you ask him. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. uh, Bennett, back to you briefly, if I can. Um, you are a busy man. Are you in school at the moment, or are you heading back? Yeah, I'm in school. What year are you in? I'm in second year. And do you love school, or does it drive you around the twist? No, I like it. Good it's a man. really nice school. And what I'm do you need it. us all to do tomorrow? Uh, well, to go out and just try support cystic fibrosis by buying a purple rose. As I said, to be all over shopping centres and spars, so to be two year old and just buy one and... Anyway, you can donate online at 65rosesday.ie, so um, any donations appreciated. Okay, well, look, thanks for, for giving us your time today. Appreciate it. Uh, mind thank yourself. You. Caroline, thank you as well. Really good to talk to you both. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Mind Ryan. yourself. Thank you very much. So Bennett Broderick and his mum, Caroline, joining us on the lines there. 51551 is the text number. You can email ryan at rte.ie.